Hey guys, this is Josh Stern and Michael Walters. We're with the Stern team at Keller Williams, and our goal is to keep you guys updated on all things real estate, especially in these shifting times. Um, that way you guys can make good decisions when it comes to your own home buying, home selling, or home investment goals. Today, I wanted to give you kind of a market stats update since Governor Herbert had declared a state of emergency on March 6th of 2020. So, Mike, uh, what are the stats that we have so far? Yep, so since March 6th, we've had 4,195 homes become active. 5,294 have moved to an under contract status, and finally 5,600 and one homes have sold in that time period. Yeah, so the thing that's kind of remarkable about that, Mike, is the fact that you had about 4,200 homes become active, but you've had almost 5,300, so 1,100 more go under contract. Yep. And so here's the thing that you guys need to realize is our active listings in the market right now are down about 33%. Obviously, there's some pretty decent reason for that. Um, you, you end up with, um, you know, a lot of sellers are kind of waiting for the dust to settle, right? Yep. This is actually really good news, you know, from the from from a new construction uh, standpoint because they actually have inventory they they can buy right now. Yeah. Right. Well, talk to me about like what's happening with the under contracts. Yeah, we're up um, as as the MLS twelve percent on homes going to under contract, mm -hmm. and that's being driven um, to a high degree because interest rates are so good and so historically low for the buyers. Sixty year lows. Sixty year lows now. What we do know is if we had more inventory, yeah. we'd have more sales. No, I totally agree. Um, we've seen buyers just like aching to take advantage you know, of that interest rate. If you look at the 44-year historical trend of interest rates, Mike, the average interest rate over the last 44 years is like 8.3%. So we're like less than half of that, which is crazy. Now, here's the thing. On, on the listing side, it really is a bit problematic. Like I said, I think a lot of the sellers are sort of waiting for uh, the dust to settle. Right? Um, if they don't need to sell their home, um, maybe they don't need to, don't do it right now. But if you need to sell your home, I'm telling you guys, right now is the time to do it because the buyers are buying. And I think what happens is a lot of sellers are wrongly assuming that prices have declined. Yep. You know, uh, and that's 100% not the case, as evidenced by the amount of buyers going under contract versus the amount of available inventory. Even on our own team, we've got a lot of buyers that are waiting in the wings for properties to show up. So it is an incredibly uh, good time. But let's talk about the safety side of it for sellers, Mike. Yeah, a big topic of discussion right now. So we do have our Safe Seller Program to help alleviate um, any sellers and or buyer concerns out there with COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So um, any home that we're going to market uh, we're doing open houses. We'll have one person in, one group in at a time. Mm -hmm. um, we will have the seller help us uh, wipe down uh, all flat surfaces, mm -hmm. uh, all the light switches, uh, keep the lights on, leave the doors open. Good. Right? Yeah. So nobody's touching anything really when they're in there. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Right? Um, and then as well as we're going to have booties and we're going to have uh, latex gloves there for everybody. As well. Yeah. On all of our listings. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So And sanitizer. And sanitizer. Yeah, we got that, sanitizer. Right? Yeah. yeah, so if you're looking for more information on our Safe Seller Program, give us a call, give us an email, we'll be happy to walk you through that process. Yeah, the other good news too on the Safe Seller uh, Program, Mike, is the fact that we're doing 24 hour virtual uh, open houses with all yeah. of our properties. And so we're not having buyers coming into the properties until they've had an opportunity to narrow it down as so this would be the one for them, right? You got it. Okay, so like Mike said, any questions about the Safe Seller Program or digesting these market stats, uh, give us a call or send us an email. We're at your service.